Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will see the concepts of script task and send mail task. Now, let us first of all see the send mail task. So, we have just added a send mail task to our package. Now, let us see its properties. So, in send mail task, in order to send an email, we can, we have to provide the from email ID, the to email ID, CC, BCC. These are the email IDs that we need to provide. Then we need, we need to provide the subject. Then we can enter the, the body for the email as either direct input. So we can provide the text over here or we can take the input from file or variable. Also, we need to provide the priority from either the three values, high, low or normal. Now we can provide attachment also okay to, while sending the email so and the last thing that we need to provide is smtp connection so if you observe the smtp connection dialog box then we can understand that there are few limitations associated with the send mail task in ssis the first limitation is it allows us to provide only windows authentication it does not allow us to provide username and password for SMTP server. So we can use our send mail task only if our win SMTP server is localized inside our Windows domain and the account, the service account with the help of which we will execute this S uh, SSIS package inside SQL server, that particular service account has got rights to send email from the SMTP server. So only if these conditions are met, then only we can send email from uh, send mail task. So the, this is the first limitation. The second limitation is the send mail task can send only email in text format and not in HTML format. So that's why we don't use this particular send mail task that frequently. Okay. And instead of that, we have got two alternatives to send the email. First is we can use execute sql task okay to provide the first of all we'll provide the database connection okay and then and then we need to provide the stored procedure with the help of which we can send the email so in msdb there is a stored procedure called sp underscore send underscore db mail with the help of this stored procedure we can send the email so it will use the profile that we have created at the time of database email configuration. Okay. So whatever profile we have created, we can actually create multiple profiles. So we can specify which profile we want to use for sending this email. Then we need to provide the recipients, the, the subject, and we can also provide attachment. We need to first of all, configure our database email settings right so the database store procedure was in msdb so in msdb we have to first of all make the service broker enabled okay the second step will be to go to database management options okay go to management options over here we have got db mail so you have to just click over here and configure the db mail options right and once we have done all these things we can execute the store procedure right now let us execute this task and see whether it is able to send the email or not but before that let us see the the email address i have created this email id only for the purpose of this video tutorial okay the email id is videos u abc at the gmail.com so it has got only two emails right so let us execute this task the task has executed successfully so it must have sent an email over here right so you received the email along with the attachment right this is the sample attachment so let us delete this email so now again we have two emails right so this particular task was able to send email successfully now let us disable it and let us evaluate one more alternative to send the email and this will be with the help of script task 
okay now in for the use for using this script as i have actually created two variables username is the email id and password is the password used for this email id okay and i am providing these two variables over here okay fine to this particular script task now let us see what is written in the script so first of all we have to add the two namespaces for system.net.mail and system.net then i have taken the username and password from the variables available to the script task then over here i have configured the client smtp client providing it the host name that is smtp.gmail.com the port 587 and i will use ssl also using the username and password okay that has been passed to the script task i will provide the credentials to the smtp client object then i am configuring a mail message okay and in the mail message i am providing the from address to address now in my case the from and to address are both the same that is i am sending email from this email id and i am sending address and i am sending email to the same email id okay now i am also providing the subject i am also specifying that this is a html email and not a text email or not a plain text email i am providing the html for it that is the background color will be red the text color will be blue and there will be some sample text written as this is a sample email message from ssis okay now i am add adding attachment as a sample attachment okay and then i am sending the email so now as we have seen that code for this particular script task let us save everything and let us execute right the so the script task is executing now it has executed so let us verify whether we have received the email or not okay so the email was sent from the same email id and it it has been sent to the uh, same email id right that is videos u abc at the gmail.com and the email is having background color as red the text color as blue and our sample message that is this is a sample email message from ssis okay so and it also has the attachment right right so the email was sent successfully from this script task so friends i hope that this particular video tutorial on script task and send mail is helpful to you to understand how to send email from ssis thank you